here's part one, here's what we're given, and then there's a result there on the page that I believe is 2 to the n. And there's some sigma notation, right? What are we adding up? The sum of? k 0 to n. Okay, from 0 to n of? n k. Just n c k, right? n c, oops, k. There we go. So, this is, these things have both been given to us. So, one mark clearly belongs to what goes in between these lines. So, would someone like to give me a suggestion? Okay, I need to say, I need to say, let x equal 1, right? And then once you've done that, you've got 1 plus 1 to the end. Come on, don't skimp on that content side. How many precious seconds do you save to write 1 plus 1 instead of 2? Okay. This is given to you in the question, so you can't get marks for that. Okay. On the right hand side, you're just going to do the substitution. That means there's a 1 there, right? It's a non-trivial 1. That means that there's a 1 squared here. And all the way up, there are n 1s on the last term. Okay. Then from there, I think you're okay to get to this line, right? So this line, important. Good. You've got part one. Part two. How are we going to get from there to something reasonable that doesn't require me to punch in my calculator 101 numbers? When n equals 100. Okay, so Sorry, when n equals 100, right, you can use this. Now, I prefer, I, I just like kind of starting from this, like this is what they're asking me to work with, and I can see that this is really just this with a certain value. So I'm going to write that as from n equals 0, there's my starting number, and I go all the way up to 100, and the thing that I'm adding up is 100 choose uh, n. Well, I've said k okay there, I suppose I should say k. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's just a dumping variable. Yep. So on the basis of this result, that's just 2 to the 100. And naturally, as you can imagine, you don't need to evaluate that. All right, so then you get to part three, and it says, show that, and then there's a result there. Now, have a look at the result. There's a clue, particularly on the left-hand side, that tells you what technique, what method, what strategy you could use to get from all this stuff to that line. What's the clue? There's the n, and then there's the n minus one, right? So what this really is, is n x to the n minus one, and that's like kind of the obvious indicator that you have to differentiate both sides. Okay, now have a look, right? I'm going to differentiate with respect to x. Okay. So this is not the line I want to differentiate. Do you see that? Even though it's like, oh, look, it's got that 2 to the n thing, right? This is not what I want to differentiate. Which line should I differentiate? The very first one, this guy up here. Okay. We have to differentiate both sides, right? Uh, I'm going to start with just this first line, which is given to us in the question. What are we going to use on the left hand side? What do I require? I'm differentiating with respect to x, right? So this is chain rule, right? This is chain rule. It's like, wow, it's been so long since I had to think about what I had to use to differentiate, okay? So this is going to be n outside of x. Okay, so you can see, aha, uh -huh, there, there, once this turns into that, right? Once I make the same substitution, I'm going to get this n to n to the minus 1 that I needed, okay? What about on the right hand side? What's happening? n0 just. Okay, so that's a constant, so it's gone. nc1 times x, that just becomes nc1. Right, what about the next term? Okay, so I'm just going to put that there, right, that's the x squared. I want to establish a pattern, so even though I don't have a, well, I've got three terms over there, but my third, my zero term has disappeared. So I'm going to add here nc3, 3x three squared, plus dot dot dot. What's my last term? nc Okay, happy? So now that I've got this, I've done all the stuff with the x's, now I can actually make the substitution, right? So just like I did before, I'm going to let x equal 1, and then the result that you need, it pops out, okay? So it's going to be n, 2n minus 1. They've already got this in sigma notation, right? All of these x terms are going to collapse, but look, you've got, maybe you want to highlight this for yourself, right? You've got this extra guy hanging on. You've got a 1 here, then a 2, then a 3, and then an n. Right? So therefore, what you've got in your sigma notation has a couple of differences from what we had over there on that sigma notation, right? For starters, what's the first value? One, two, one, yeah, good. Look, see, one, two, three, as opposed to? Zero. 
zero, one, two. Okay, so this is from one up to n. So there's one less term. That's important, by the way. And what's the general term? K. Well, yeah, I suppose I wrote it with the K anyway. But they've provided to us in this form, so that's where the coefficient is. You happy? Wonderful. So you got your brain all limbered up, and then you turn over the page. Now, as we've talked about before, in an HSC question, usually the um, the A's and B's and C's have nothing to do with each other, usually. The one, twos, and threes, we're used to that. But you can see if you read this question now, just maybe take a minute to read it, wrap your head around it. Eventually, once you get to part three, you'll notice it says, uh, using part B, it references this, and then you get given an expression that looks remarkably similar to the way I finished here. Okay, so hmm. right, clearly this is going to be related. So what I want you to do for a second, because this is the most important part, think about this from before I show you the answer. This is like, okay, it's a typical combinations permutations question. What's challenging about it is you don't know anything about any of the quantities. Everything's abstract. There's n of these, r of these, k, whatever. So this is a lot harder to quantify. Okay. So I'm going to give you a moment. If you're struggling beating your head against the wall, don't feel bad. I went and looked it up. 4% of the state, 4% of the state got part one. You might think that's pretty bad, right? 2% of the state got part three. Okay. So this was not done well. So by the time we're finished with this lesson, you'll be part of that 2%. But look at it. See what you can work out before I show you the answer. Maybe you want to try and list out a few options yourself as well.